At this year's CES, almost every major TV manufacturer was showing off internet-connected TVs. But the problem is, they all do different things. I'm checking out the Samsung Smart TV, where there are a ton of apps on the screen. There's a Netflix in there, SDK, USA Today, ESPN, and a whole bunch of other things I've never heard of. It's a bunch of things flying through the screen. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Apparently, there are a bunch of Samsung apps. This is the Sharp Connected TV, where you can access most of the apps through Vudu, which is also a movie streaming service. And look how many apps there are. The list just keeps going. Imagine being at home trying to navigate through all of these. I know this looks like a label maker or some kind of weird calculator, but this is actually the remote for the Sony Internet TV, which is powered by Google TV. So let's take a look at the applications we have here. Uh, CNBC, there's a Google Chrome app, Napster, NBA Game Time, Netflix, Pandora, Sony Recommends, and Twitter. This is Toshiba's Yahoo Connected TV right here, which offers some big names like Fandango, Showtime, Blockbuster, and Flickr, but still no Facebook. Uh, with this TV, you do get Revision 3 and Teletext, whatever those are. While you're watching a commercial, the program sponsor can also send you a little pop-up notification asking if you want to connect to the internet to buy the product that's being shown in the commercial, which is clearly a feature I know I need. Confused yet? So am I. The problem is manufacturers are rushing to get their products out to market and they're cramming in whichever services they can get. The problem for consumers is once they get to the TV store, it's really difficult to figure out which internet TV is right for them, considering some features are the same, but many are different.